Welcome back guys. If you want to install some underwater LED lights in your aquarium with some aeration system like the one you can see now with the bubble wall effect, then this video is for you. Hang around for a while and I'll take you through step by step process of how I install these lights and what supplies would you need if you want to install the same lights. It's not a DIY project. I found these um, lights on eBay and I believe it cost me just over 50 bucks. Not sure exactly, it was somewhere between 50 to 55 bucks uh, with free shipment. There are various sizes available from different supplier and the size I bought is 102 centimeters. So obviously the smaller the size, the cheaper it would be. It probably looks really solid and the box was labeled as fragile and I don't see any damage to the item. It comes with a really handy control to turn on the lights or turn it off, change the setting, change the light color, uh, which I'll show you in the end of this uh, video. Also comes with a suction cup that you can use to mount the light uh, to the bottom of the aquarium or anywhere you want to do and comes with the air tube and also a user manual uh, which i didn't bother reading the reason i bought this product is because of the underwater lights which is a bit different to most of the aquariums that have overhead lights and the other main reason is the aeration system like the bubble will come out from the entire length of the item not like having um air stone in the corner of the aquarium or a couple of air stones in the aquarium so it's more evenly distributed air bubbles. You can have a close look at the lights. Uh, if you can see right next to the LED light, there's some holes. That's where the bubbles um, would come out from. Installing the lights is really easy. Um, I've used three suction cups. So um, one at each corner and one in the middle but i just have to be careful so the suction cups as it goes over the product um, so it doesn't block the light or the um, hole for the air bubbles i've cut the air tube in half and connected one piece to one end of the product and the other piece to the other end of the product Other ends of the air tubes are connected to Aqua One Precision 9500 air pump uh, with a total capacity of 400 liter an hour. Since um, it's twin outlet, so each outlet has a cap of 200 liter an hour. You can go with a higher air pump, but I won't recommend anything lower. Um, the higher the cap, uh, obviously, uh, the faster the bubbles. No check wall is installed at this stage, but that's something um, I'll definitely do in future just to be on the safe side. This is the handy control I mentioned earlier, and um, it's a lot easier for me because I don't have to go to the switchboard to turn the lights on or off. I can just grab the control and use the control. Um, also, I can select um, any setting I want to uh, choose it could be um, smooth fade or flashing light and I can select um, any color I want to select uh, trust me it looks really good in real it doesn't look that great on the camera and the brightness you can see just above the lights is just a reflection from the um, glass of the aquarium if you have enjoyed watching this video then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed and make sure you turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any updates and I appreciate your time watching this video and have a good one